Hey everybody, it's Flora. So this looks very different and that is because things right now are vastly different. So today is Thursday, September 17th of 2020. Of course, the year everything decides to happen. And just yesterday on the 16th, we had Hurricane Sally come through. Now y'all, I've been in this section of Alabama my whole life. I've been through many hurricanes, including Ivan and Katrina. And Sally did some damage. Even though she came in as a category two, I think her slowness and possibly some tornadoes kind of accounted for the craziness and the destruction. Baldwin County right now is insane, you guys. I tried to go to the office this morning and that did not turn out very well. Thankfully, thankfully everyone did treat the, the traffic lights that weren't working as four ways as you should but thankfully that happened but there are so many trees down there are so many power lines down in the road there's so much debris still in the road trees that are not quite fallen and by the time I got there it was like driving through a horror movie you know it was crazy um, we didn't have any power there trees are down there's glass in the road debris in the road now we have been out of power going on 34 hours straight and I think it's gonna be quite a long time before that power gets turned back on for anybody. Um, there's a few people here who have it, but with all of the power lines down and so much destruction to power poles and such, it's gonna be a long time. Um, I did see fleets this morning when I was trying to go um, of power company trucks, but there's so much destruction to clean up that there's more destruction than there are crews to work and clean and restore that power. So I think that's gonna take quite a long time. Thankfully, I do have a generator just for the refrigerator and a fan, cause y'all know I do have a Husky, so I'm trying to keep a fan on her cause we are down here in this hot Alabama heat right now. Um, it could definitely have been worse but again, I think this category two did more damage than Ivan and Katrina did to us. Um, could be wrong, but just an observation. So yeah, that's kind of what's happening right now, my current situation, and I'll keep y'all updated. Hey everybody, it's Laura. We're on day three here of no power. Right now we're currently sitting at the gas station waiting in line for gas. As you can imagine right now, all gas pumps are full. People aren't only getting gas in their vehicles, they're also getting gas in tanks to take home for generators and such. Right now we are, what number are we? Three, there's two ahead of us. There are at least two people ahead of us to get to this pump. A lot of things right now during the pandemic were only debit card use well right now everything is pretty much cash only because even though they have power they don't necessarily have the use to run debit cards so that's how we're starting out with day three we're here waiting in line to get gas so y'all one of the first things i did this morning was wake up and wash my hair and wash off which without a water heater it was all very very cold but it was actually quite refreshing because after yesterday, I needed to cool down. Yesterday, it got pretty hot here. It it almost did me in. Yes, I actually had to take my dog and sit in the car for a little while just to cool down a little bit is how hot it got. So, first thing this morning I did was shower with some very, very cold water. So, as you can see, the hair is still drying. And yeah, still waiting for gas. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is Saturday, day four without power, and we're gonna mix things up a little bit. Today I've gotta to get some filming done, so that's what I'm fixing to work on right now. But just keeping up with this log, today is day four and still no power. All right, y'all, we're still on day four. Right now we're actually in line here at a church for some water and kind of food supplies. We were able to get some ice earlier so after sitting here for two hours this black car as you can see in front of us decided to cut us off we were bumper to bumper with the car in front of us and this one decided to cut us off here at the last stretch 
So yeah, this car in front of us waited probably a total of 30 minutes when everybody else in these lines and have been waiting here an hour or more. But you know, karma. Hey guys, today is Sunday. This is going to be day five of no power but good news there is hope on the horizon there are tree trucks and power company trucks at the end of the road it's gonna take some time because we had quite a few poles and lines down on our road but hopefully by the end of the day maybe we should have power hopefully so today it looks like it is going to be starting off on a good foot Hey guys, today is day six without power. Um, as you may see in the background, I am back at work at the office. Um, there is power here, but when I left the house today, there was not power. Um, there were crews on that road all day yesterday and part of the night, so hopefully today will be the day. Let's keep our fingers crossed that by the time I go home this afternoon, and although I did just get home about an hour ago, check it out. Yes, power lights. So the power was out today. Today would be day six for most of the day until around five o'clock p.m. And then we got power back. So have you ever been through a hurricane, tornado? What kind of natural disaster have you ever been through? What's the longest you've been without power? Maybe power is not even your biggest issue. Let me know what your biggest issue after a natural disaster is. I wanted to see how long it was going to take to get the power back. So it was six days.